Well, one of the major rivalries in the Premier League these days is Arsenal against Chelsea, two London rivals. And we're going to have a look now at how these two might fare this season, not only when they come up against each other, but also overall in the standings as well. It's Warren Ashurst and Tom McGarry with you to uh, tell you our thoughts of how they might progress in the Premier League this season. They won't face each other, by the way, for the first time until December the 28th, when the Emirates is the venue for Arsenal against Chelsea. But what we've seen in the opening few weeks, Tom, they look pretty evenly matched, these two teams. They do. I think they'll both be challenging for a top four finish come the end of the season. I don't think either side are currently the finished article. Arsenal brought in a lot of new signings towards the end of the transfer window. David Luiz actually joining from Chelsea. Kieran Tierney as well. He's not yet fully fit and up and running in an Arsenal shirt. So they've got to really embed into the squad. And as for Chelsea... It's the opposite, really. We know about their transfer embargo. Couldn't sign anyone during the summer. They've got Frank Lampard in as manager. He wants to incorporate youth. So I think both sides are really on a slow burner, really, at the moment. And they should improve gradually as the season progresses, which could see them both in top form uh, come the, the first meeting in December. Yeah, as I say, we've got a few months yet until they do meet at the Emirates Stadium. But uh, just give you a little bit of an insight to recent fixtures. It's often the home side that come out on top in these games. Arsenal have not won at Stamford Bridge since 2011 and Chelsea have only won once in the last 10 years at the Emirates so it does show you that it's normally the home team that has the advantage in these matches and you could probably think uh, that it might well be the same case again, Tom. Well, absolutely. There's uh, such small margins between these two sides. So just something as simple as having the home support, familiar surroundings can really benefit these teams. Chelsea... As you mentioned, struggled when they've gone away to Arsenal. They do have a slightly better away record, though, against other big top six teams than the Gunners do. They really struggle when they visit any of the, uh, the other top six or even just on their travels in general. But home advantage is usually key in this fixture and if you can just get that edge and get the crowd on your side as well then it can make all the difference. Well of course goals are always crucial in terms of these derby fixtures and looking at the main protagonists in terms of the top goal scorer market this season well Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is perhaps not surprisingly Arsenal's uh, favourite at the moment he's 9-1 to one to be the Premier League top scorer this season shared of course last term with Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane of Liverpool you look at the likes of Lacazette well, he's as big as uh, 40 to 1 at the moment. Nicolas Pepe, 100 to 1. And that's mainly because of Lacazette's had his issues with injury over the first few weeks. We've seen Pepe struggling a little bit to come to terms with life in the Premier League. I don't really think you could look past Aubameyang in terms of Arsenal's leading scorer. Yeah, he's the central striker, usually, isn't he? He plays predominantly week in, week out, where we've seen Lacazette on the bench on a few occasions. And as you say, Pepe still feeling his way into the team, I think. Certainly in home matches, those three will be starting more often than not together. But when they go away, I think Unai Emery might be a little bit more cautious. Aubameyang is the one who will stay in the team. Joint top scorer in the Premier League last season. A proven goal scorer wherever he plays. So he's really got to be the, the standout name to be Arsenal's leading scorer and potentially the Premier League's leading marksman as well. Well, he's already got three goals this season, but a man who's got one more goal than him so far is Tammy Abraham of Chelsea. Now, the critics would say, Tom, he's getting those goals against newly promoted sides and sides that are likely to finish in the bottom half. But if he's picking up two, three goals in these games, then certainly the price of 28 to 1 is the best price you can get on him at the moment. It may well be worth looking at because I think Tammy Abraham is going to be the number one strike choice for Frank Lampard this season. I'm not so sure. As you say, he scored a brace against Norwich, a brace against Sheffield United, but I think he will hit a sticky patch at some point. This is his first real season in the Premier League, certainly as a Chelsea leading man. And Perhaps if he goes on a four or five game goal scoring drought as the season develops, then Frank Lampard might be tempted to turn to Olivier Giroud or, or Michi Batshuayi. And they tend to just play one central striker, don't they, Chelsea? Mm. So there may be a case of all those players kind of interchanging as the season develops and none of them really getting a, a real crack at the whip to be the top scorer in the Premier League. But Abraham could easily finish as, as Chelsea's leading man. Yeah, just to remind you again, that's 28-1 to 1 to be the Premier League's top goal scorer this season for Tammy Abraham. Let's look at the clubs overall then and their potential performances in the Premier League this season in terms of a, a finish in the table because both teams will be hoping, Tom, they can challenge for the top four. The bookmakers have Arsenal more likely to do that. They're at 11 
11 to 10. Chelsea are 3 to 1 to finish in the top four. I think it's going to be a tall order for both of them. It is going to be tough because it's not just the usual suspects vying for a top four finish. The likes of Everton, Leicester, all potentially going to stake a claim. So there's a lot for Arsenal and Chelsea to contend with. I think the Gunners, second season for Unai Emery, they've brought in some exciting talent. I think they're in a better position to challenge for a top four finish. For me, Chelsea, they've got to look over their shoulders and even a top six finish could be beyond them this season. It's a case of giving Frank Lampard time, the young players time to develop. And I think they are progressing in the right kind of way. But I think this is a difficult season for them. So I'll be looking at Arsenal to finish above Chelsea. Well, that's Tom's thoughts. The top six betting, by the way, eight to 11 for Chelsea to finish in the top six. Arsenal one to four. Like Tom, I have to say I would edge towards Arsenal, I think mainly because of an experienced manager in Unai Emre who's now starting to develop the Gunners in the way that he wants to. Lampard, of course, has just come in at Chelsea hampered by that transfer embargo as well. So it is going to be Arsenal with a slight edge of feel. Having said that, it's going to be very tight, I would have said, between these two clubs over the course of the season. Well, let us know your thoughts, of course, on our social media pages on Facebook and on Twitter. And make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel.